Hello, all you vault dwellers and the peoples of Nandalore. I'm back again with another mod drop for you. Let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way first. If you enjoy the content or my mods, slap that like button like slapping a Democrat back to reality in November. Hit the share button so other people can laugh hysterically at the sound of my voice. And I'm sure at some point you might have some questions, so leave some comments below the video. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button and click the bell for all. And don't forget to go into the description and go subscribe to my Rumble channel. I'm trying to build that channel up there so I can live stream on Rumble. Well, because, you know, all those things are free to do and will help out the channel a great deal because the YouTube algorithm likes that sort of thing. Otherwise, YouTube will just throw this video down the memory hole and that really kind of sucks. If you want to support the channel directly, use the Ko-Fi link in the description where you can do one-time tips or join as a channel member there to enter the ranks of the peoples of Nangalore. Otherwise, click the join button or that thanks button below the video. Alright guys, that's all taken care of. I don't have any rants I want to expose you to, so we're going to get into this video. Roll that intro, Codsworth. Beats doing housework. Park the car in the yard. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? Okay, so what do I have for you? Well, I took a poll on my community page on my channel for the next settlement cleanup my drop. And the winner was Taffington Boathouse. Make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the polls. I use these polls fairly often to release my Fallout 4 settlement mods and I feel like it gives the community a choice of the content they want to see from me. I know it's a small sampling with the number of votes, but I am hoping to get more of my subscribers involved with these polls. So Taffington Boathouse, yeah, for me the name of the settlement made about zero sense. The vanilla version is a messed up destroyed house that makes it so hard to build there, not only because of the house, but because the settlement is so damn small you can't really do much with it. But the only thing the place has to do with boats is the warehouse with a boat hanging out in the roof with a bunch of traps. There's really not much room to plant any crops for your settlers either. When you round the corner that leads down to Taffington, you are going to immediately notice that everything is completely different. This is one of those settlements that you can discover on your own or you can get by part of the Miniman quests. Either way, you're going to have to clear out those blood bugs, which are actually what the size of the mosquitoes in the state of Michigan and almost as bloodthirsty. Are the mosquitoes where you live crazy big? Leave a comment below the video and tell me about it. Most of them you'll see right away, but there's a couple of, of them that's hiding from you, so you have to kill all of those before you can activate the workshop. No, you aren't seeing things. I totally cleaned off the settlement of all buildings and redesigned it to fit the name of the settlement. Because who doesn't want a big houseboat with a bunch of rooms to house your favorite redneck settlers, right? Once you clear off all the bugs, then you can head over to the workbench and open the settlement. Speaking of the workbench, let's take a look at it. Just like all my other settlement cleanup mods, I increased the resources available to you to get you started. I know seems like a lot, but while I was building my Abernathy farm settlement and my Parables of the Commonwealth series, I started running out of things pretty quickly even with the increased resources. I changed the size of the build area of the settlement to give you more room to build as well. I didn't overdo it like my last version of Taffington Boathouse, but you can build across the road now. I didn't do any cleaning over there as far as like the scrub brush and stuff, but you can still scrap the trees so you can put a couple of houses over there if you want to. You can scrap the dead pack Brahmin as well as the dead Brahmin laying about near the road. No, the dead pack Brahmin isn't in the vanilla settlement. It is something I added to explain why the blood bugs, those great big giant mosquitoes are still hanging around there. There's quite a bit of food at the place, too, to get you started. Lots of uh, mutt fruit trees, plus there's some stuff in the uh, 
workbench too. There are only two beds in the settlement and those are in the boathouse. I put the big trunk up on the second floor and if you are using salvage rewards mod, you get a bunch of goodies out of this trunk. When I said I expanded the settlement, I also extended it down the road so you can have some room to build your own waterfront homes that fits your fancy. So what kind of stuff are you guys going to build on this new version of Taffington Boathouse? I'd love to see someone making a video or a live stream using my mod and showing what they would like to build. Maybe even a transfer settlement blueprint would also be very cool. You know, whatever would be just great. Okay, like all of my recent settlement cleanup mods, the mod requires the unofficial Fallout 4 patch and by extension, the Game of the Year edition. But if you don't have the Game of the Year edition by now, get off your ass because you're slacking worse than a YouTube content moderator banning conservative content for misinformation while letting the Young Turks spread their absolutely radical conspiracy theories and racism. This mod is an ESPFE and has been cleaned with Xedit. I also used the disable previs script on the plugin so it won't cause any issues with the game's previs, which is an important thing because if it's one thing I absolutely despise, it is pieces of the game world disappearing faster than a paycheck because of Democrats' reckless nation-destroying spending addiction for their communist Green New Deal. This mod is only available on PC and only on Shaken Mods. Nope. You can't find it on the Nexus because fuck the Nexus. I wouldn't post another one of my mods on that sinking and burning mod website if they gave me a sweetheart deal that included a five foot tall stack of $100 bills. And I know it says Xbox in the title, but you can look all day long for this mod or any of my other mods on Xbox and you won't find them. The reason for that is pretty simple. But I'm not going to go into it all again in this video, but if you're interested in knowing why, look down in the description and you will find a link to the video explaining the entire thing. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Follow me on social media to keep up when I post new contents because sometimes, well, a lot of the time, YouTube doesn't inform my subscribers of when I post a new video or start a new live stream. And hey, remember to go and subscribe to my Rumble channel, guys. Once I get it ready to stream, I may start doing some Rumble exclusive uncensored streams and videos there. You know, stuff that YouTube won't allow on this channel that hurts those precious little feelings of Democrat Marxist terrorists. Till next time, folks, keep your powder dry, shoot straight, rookie, and remember that war never changes.